Morning, Trainiacs. Morning, morning, morning. When I was in Morgan Hill, California, I was talking to some of the guys that do a little bit of the marketing for Wahoo, and we were talking about the new Wahoo Element Rome. This is the Wahoo Element Bolt. This is what I use on all of my bikes. I swap from one to the other, and I, when I came out with the announcement that the new Wahoo Element Rome bike computer had come out, I was like, well, it's basically a new Wahoo Element Bolt with a color screen. That's true, but all of the feedback from people even outside of Wahoo are saying that that screen and these little refinements that they've made are really big changes. And it makes a big difference to your enjoyment of using the bike computer. So while I was down there in Morgan Hill, I got my hands on a Wahoo Element Rome and we compared it side by side to said Wahoo Element Bolt. Enjoy. So we have here the new Wahoo Element Rome. Now I did the release of this when it came out a couple weeks ago, but at the time, I thought that it wasn't that much different from the Bolt, and I'll show you why. So when you pull it out of the box, the form factor is largely the same as the Bolt. And we've actually got a Bolt here. When you put them side by side, it's actually quite a bit different. And what I'm hearing here down in California from the Wahoo people and from people who have actually used the Element Rome is that it's actually significantly different even though it looks that way. So all the pictures that you're going to see of this if you were to take a bolt away from side by side and just look at the Element Rome itself you would think that it's really not that much different. But it actually is. Let's start though by getting into what's the same between the Wahoo Element Rome and the Wahoo Element Bolt. As far as sensor and app compatibility, these are going to be exactly the same. All of your heart rate sensors, all of your cadence sensors, all of your connections to Strava, those will all be the same. You will have to change them, but you won't have anything that you are compatible with now and not be compatible with it going forward. Control is going to be the same. Control is going to be best done through the Wahoo Element app. You're going to be able to change your screens, all of the settings, all of the data points that you're collecting on the Element with the Wahoo Element app, just like you do right now with the Wahoo Element itself and the Wahoo Element Bolt. Notifications, you're going to be able to get all of your notifications on the Wahoo Element Roam the same way that you do with the Wahoo Element Bolt and the Wahoo Element itself. Also, historically, the Wahoo Element computers could really only control the Wahoo Kicker, but over the last few weeks, as of spring in 2019, now these can control a lot more of the smart trainers that are out there with a, a pre-made workout that you want to end up controlling with this head unit. And the form factor, as we mentioned, is largely the same, and what that means is that the aerodynamics of the Wahoo Element Rome are going to be similar to the Wahoo Element Bolt. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of a penalty for having a wider body with the Wahoo Element Rome, but it's still going to have that nice integrated mounting system that the Wahoo Element Bolt has that just looks so clean and like it's all built in and thought out because it has been. But let's talk about what's different. Essentially, it's all the screen. The screen, the screen, the screen. The Wahoo Element Rome is not really a replacement for the Bolt. It's a replacement for the original Wahoo Element because it has the same nice form factor of the Element Bolt, but with the same screen size as the larger Element. And that screen is now also a really bright, vibrant color screen. And I'll get to why just having a color screen and that vibrancy is such an improvement in a second. The screen is also Gorilla Glass and it's mounted flush with the body. So if we look at, zoom right in, you look at the Wahoo Element Bolt, you can see that there's a little bit of a lip all the way around. 
So that little edge collects dust. The Wahoo Element Roam, however, is actually mounted perfectly flush with the edge. There is no lip around, so there is no lip to collect dust around the edge. This is also Gorilla Glass, and the LED that is powering this is actually mounted right underneath the glass. So you don't really have much reflection and glare as you turn this on. Now it's this nice bright screen that makes all the difference. We've also got now a built-in ambient sensor, so as it gets darker, you see that it gets lighter, and as it gets brighter, it gets darker. So that's going to allow you to just enjoy your ride a little bit more because you're never going to be straining or adjusting the screen to match the brightness of the ambience in the area that you're riding. As far as the weight goes, the Roam is 33 and a half grams heavier than the Bolt, but the battery life is rated as up to 17 hours with the Roam and only up to 15 hours with the Bolt. As far as the size here, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, at first glance, it's quite a bit larger than the Roam, but yeah, it is. But let's compare it to a couple of the other leading contenders of bike head units. Now, this is in comparison to the Garmin 520, kind of the competitor to the Wahoo Element Bolt. You can see side by side there is a little bit of a difference, but the screen on the Roam is again quite a bit bigger. Now compare that to the Garmin 1000, another very common head unit. The screen is smaller on the Wahoo Element Roam, and it's taller in the Garmin 1000, but the size of the Garmin 1000 is like the original iPhone. And this on the front of somebody's bike, I find just looks enormous. Whereas this is still, I would say, bike head unit kind of size. It doesn't really seem obtrusive. So this screen is where it's at. This screen is what makes the big difference between this and something like the Bolt. This large screen is what they had in the Element that allowed you to navigate, but now with the color and the brightness in this, apparently the navigation experience is much, much better. And I really didn't think that it was going to be a big deal until I talked to somebody down here that said, you don't really realize how much you're consciously navigating with bike computers that have a black and white screen, not a big bright screen, because you had to think about it and you just get used to thinking about it. But once you put this out, and the bright screen ends up doing a lot of the navigation and the brain computing work for you. Now, in addition to that, this is designed with several features that allow you to easily navigate and basically let the computer do the navigation for you. So this has a feature where you can go back to start. So if you end up getting lost, you can just hit start and it'll automatically reroute your most ideal route to get you back to the start. You can have back on track if you get off course and you need to get back to where you wanted to ride to continue the ride, you can easily get back on track. You can route to the start, so if there is a route that you want but it's not actually starting for a couple of kilometers and you need to ride to the start, you can get that route quickly to the start. And I think most importantly, if you start downloading Strava rides, that you upload to this, you can get Strava turn-by-turn -turn navigation and follow that guideline. And then finally, the price point of this is higher than the current offerings by Wahoo. While the Wahoo Element Bolt is $250 and the Wahoo Element itself is $279, this Wahoo Element Roam is $379. So if you don't mind the larger form factor, if you need some turn-by-turn -turn navigation, you're not doing the same route over and over and over, and you want a nice big bright screen and that extra 120 bucks doesn't scare you, go for the Element Roam. So there you go, Trainiacs. That is the Wahoo Element Bolt versus the new Wahoo Element Roam. Now, as we start being more official in the world of triathlon, we are getting more sneak peeks and hands-on with devices before they're out there in the wild. So if you aren't already subscribed and you like little bits of gear reviews like this to help with your buying decisions, hit that subscribe button below. Later, Trainiacs. Thanks, Wahoo Zwift, Specialized. Everyone out there for bringing me to Morgan Hill. Later.